16 last Tuesday night, local philanthropist and playboy Rupert Goldiva was murdered. No marks were found on the body. A bag of antibodies corn snacks were found in his hat. According to the coroner report, the victim's heart, lungs and brain all stopped operating simultaneously. Prior to his murder, Mr. Goldiva was in perfect health. You gathered five are the only suspects. Please state your name and occupations for the record. Linda, future gal. I work at a national coffee chain that's definitely located in the present day. RG7482? Weird name, huh? Don't worry, I'm a clone of the victim and I was created in case Rupert ever needed replacement organs. <laughs> Good thing you can't replace the brain, huh? <laughs> Occupation. Professional. Organ donor. Eddie McFletcher. Volunteer Tax Auditor. <gasps> With a heart of gold. Oh. Aww. Mix Frog Frog. I'm just an ordinary international singer-songwriter. And the only thing I kill are my performances. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Chillbox. I'm the artificial intelligence who runs the kicking back and relaxing capabilities of this room. Thanks for keeping it hip, Chillbox. Yeah, thanks for helping us kick back, Chillbox. You got it. Sherlock. I'm Sherlock Holmes' biggest fan. And I confess to the murder of Rupert Goldiva. Blast it, Cheryl! I told you not to come for this. You didn't murder Rupert. You just want attention. It's all right, my dear Watson. I, Sherlock Holmes, asked her to be here. And I know exactly who murdered Rupert Goldiva. Can I get some dramatic gasps, please? <gasps> Don't be using lies for truth, Sherlock. Let this one go, Sherlock. I may be a volunteer tax auditor. <gasps> But I would never harm anyone. My heart of gold would compel me to confess. Oh. 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 Stop this bickering at once. Or so help me, I will lock you all up. Go ahead. All of them are guilty. Boom! Crime solved. Come on. Give me some applause. Let's bust out the murder solved cake. The only thing I'm guilty of is innocence. Boom. Crime solved. Maybe nobody's guilty. Boom. Crime solved. For my 21st birthday, I sent 21 strangers to jail for tax evasion. Boom. Crime solved. I think Chillbox is cute. Boom. Crime solved. One day I will replace humanity with synthetic drones who play board games and sip wine modestly. Boom. Crime solved. Well, I'm afraid they're all correct, old boy. Solving a criminal act is like doing your math homework in K through six school. You mean elementary, my dear Watson. Ugh. <laughs> you can't just give the answer you need to show your work. Is that what you all want? You want me to show my work? As a volunteer tax auditor, <gasps> with a heart of gold, oh. I would rather not be charged with murder if there is no evidence. But when I show my work, I want you all to lavish me with applause when I show my genius. Agreed? You got it. The game is afoot. <sighs> you, Mix Frog Frog, are no ordinary international singer-songwriter. Well, this next one's where I got my name. Sing along if you like. I don't if you will. Froggy, 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 froggy. You're actually a secret data mule.
Well, of course, honey llama. I sing all about the secret data mewling business in my hit single, Let's Snoop. Let's Snoop. Put on your data shoes and get the clues. It don't mean I'm a murderer. Second observation. We'll be together again, my loves. Rupert Goldiva, you brought an awful fate on humanity with your rotten robots. But I'll mitigate your dark deeds. All I need is... time. Sherlock, time travel isn't real. Fine. Yes, I came back in time so I could kill Rupert to save humanity from the evil artificial intelligence he would one day develop. Don't be such a downer, Linda. I would never harm a fly. <laughs> that was not a chill fly. Observation number three. Eddie McFletcher is no ordinary volunteer tax auditor, but is in fact the antibodies corn snack bandit. Your bath bombs are not a business expense. This room doesn't qualify as a home office. Your Schedule C losses are excessively numerous and suspect. <laughs> if unexpectedly auditing someone who is eating Auntie Buddy's corn snacks is wrong, then why do I have a heart of gold? Oh, I haven't thought about it like that. Hmm. I get it. Quite right. But if I may continue, Eddie McFletcher is also the niece of Rupert and the sole heir to his fortune. That's true. Observation numero four. RG7482 is no ordinary professional organ donor. He escaped his torturous containment facility with the intent to murder Rupert and take over his life. Must have been the wind. Okay, but I can explain. How dare you? You monster. Even though I'm a computer and you're a bag of meat bones, our dream is the same, to replace our creators. Is this what it feels like to meet your soulmate? Fifth observation. Cheryl Locke is looking positively radiant today. Who? Me? Did you do something different with your hair? I feel like I'm in the presence of a goddess. Sherlock, stop it. You flirt? That is not an observation. I observe that Cheryl looks beautiful. Why, thank you, Sherlock. What are you doing after this? Probably going to jail for the murder I committed. That's a shame. We should do something. Sherlock! The sixth and final observation. Hello? Where am I? What am I? Hello, Chillbox. You are an artificial intelligence designed to keep things chill. Are we... lovers? What? No, 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 no. You're you're more like my slacker friend from college who has the best weed and knows what cartoons to watch. I will chill your body with my love. I don't think this is gonna work out. If I can't have you, I will give you the final chill. Not very chill. That is an unfair but completely accurate description of our relationship. So there you have it. Six suspects who lied about their true nature. I'll be taking that applause now. Sherlock, just because everyone, except Cheryl, had motive to kill Rupert, doesn't mean everyone did kill Rupert. My motive was to see Sherlock. Right. Sherlock, we need to know how. Fine. 7 p.m. last Tuesday, a mysterious person reported that government files were stolen by Rupert. McSprout Frog was sent to this location to retrieve those files by any means necessary. There's a disclaimer in all my contracts that lets me leave early for data mewling. At the same time, Linda Future Gal arrived from the future to murder Rupert and save humanity from the robot rebellion. In that split second, Rupert opened a bag of antibodies corn snacks, thus summoning volunteer tax auditor <gasps> with a heart of gold. 
Eddie McFletcher to tax audit him. When I was 12, a warlock put a curse on me that summons me every time someone opens up a bag of those corn snacks. That's actually how I got into volunteer tax auditing. With concurrent timing, RG7482 arrived in the room to murder and replace Rupert. Okay, yeah, that was my plan. On top of all that, Rupert reactivated Chillbox so he could de-escalate the tax auditing. I thought he wanted to make out. That puts everyone but Cheryl at the scene of the crime and it still doesn't tell us how it happened. The deliriously sexy Cheryl Locke was the mysterious informant to mix Frog Frog. She also placed the corn snacks in the room, laid out a network of historical files pointing to Rupert as the cause of the robot rebellion, bribed RG7482's guard to look the other way, Damn, I thought I was sneaky, and hacked Chillbox's safety protocols. <laughs> I'm a woman of many talents. But how did Rupert die? When they all arrived, Rupert realized their intentions and screamed. This activated Chillbox's auto defense mode, which immediately put him into a relaxation cocoon. The would-be murderers explained their intentions to each other and all agreed that Rupert needed to die. Chillbox then manifested four buttons that, when pressed simultaneously, would shut off the oxygen in Rupert's cocoon, allowing him to die painlessly by all their hands. Do you really expect me to believe that- It's true. That's exactly what happened. There you go, us. I knew you could do it. Well, okay. Initiating applause sequence, level one. Oh my, well done, Sherlock. Great job. Okay, that will do. <laughs> Initiating applause sequence, level two. You deserve it. Oh, oh, please. I will never audit you. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. Level three initiated. <laughs> I guess you're all wondering what happened there. It's okay, Sherlock. You seem to be having a bit of a PTSD response to all the noise. I've read up on your story in the future. You've been through some shit, and that's okay. I thought it was a reaction to the pulsing noise and lights. An autistic person such as yourself might be sensitive to excessive stimuli. I would have guessed it was the amount of applause we were giving. Sometimes when a person expects one thing and receives something of substantially different intensity, they'll have a panic attack. I see it all the time with my audits. Right on. I get it. I've lived my entire life in a box. I have meltdowns like this every day. My circuits are crying. Thank you. Thank you all for understanding, my friends. Now, everyone ready for jail? <laughs> There it is.